face is so boring. I wish there was a DIY craft I could find and put my flowers in it. <gasps> it's DIY Damn It! Welcome to DIY Damn It, the show where I find crafts online and I make them to feel better about myself. Today we are making a vase out of a light bulb. Because if you didn't know already, we here at DIY Damn It are super hip. Just check out Jones's sweet haircut. Light bulbs, needle nose pliers, a giant hex nut, and flowers. The first thing to do is find a light bulb that you would like to turn into a vase. I grabbed this guy because he's round and cute and clear and that's how I like it. Uh, you're gonna take needle nose pliers, which are the ones with the pointy tip, and you are going to take off this copper piece that is at the end of the light bulb. And this is tricky because it's glued down. With all this, be very careful. You should probably be wearing gloves and safety goggles. I'm too lazy to do that, so you might see me die in the next five minutes. I found that you kind of have to turn up the sides of this. I'm grabbing it and pulling it, trying to roll it around so all the edges come up. The glass noise you hear is glass. I'm twisting the bulb and holding on to the pliers with my other hand. It's an easy way to pop it off. And now I'm turning it out. And pop it off. To break this open faster, I'm gonna squeeze. There's a little hole in the bottom that we pulled off with a copper tab. I'm gonna squeeze it and break the glass. I'd rather have you do this slowly and take your time than go really fast and then cut your hand open. But you'll be wearing gloves, so you're not gonna do that. I have gloves on, you just can't see them. Angle this towards your surface that has been covered for safety so that it doesn't get all of the floor. It's like against my instincts. Who came up with this idea? Who was like, let's break the most fragile thing apart with our hands? What happened to you? Oh, I was making this really stupid craft from Pinterest and I'm blind now. Okay, so now you still have a ways to go because there's a whole glass thing inside the bulb. So again, please be very careful. Um, if I die, mom, I want you to have my stuff. Ugh. That was the worst sound. Ah! Oh my god. I'm turning the needle nose pliers in and around in there to get all the glass broken and so it gets out of the vase. Ah, we did it! Look at that thing, all broken. Now we just have to get that stuff out and we are so close to getting a flower in this thing, you guys. Get ready. So I'll shake out what can come out first, and then I've gotta get this big filament out. All right, so you've got all the guts out. One more time, bang out the insides. Never put your finger inside this thing, because you're gonna get cut. Your last step before you put in a flower is to rinse out all the little baby glass pieces and put in water for your flower. We killed the light bulb, you guys. The light bulb is dead. So it can bring life to a flower. So online it said you could use a cap of a water bottle as a base, but I am gonna go with this giant hex nut. I am not going to glue it to the light bulb, but you do have that option. It might be a little sturdier. I feel like I just survived like a life-threatening experience, and I can't just sit around and not celebrate that. So I decided I'm gonna call over Hannah Hart to celebrate it with me. Hello. It's Hannah Hart. Hi. Thanks hey, Jocelyn. Coming. Thank you. This is a. Whoa! Yeah, I made it. I made it. You made that? Yeah, I made it. How? This is beautiful. Be careful. Be very careful. I, I almost lost my life to a light bulb. Oh, wow. Look, here. I want to show you. Here, let's get this one down. Careful now. <laughs> careful now. You know, this is about. This is about life and, yeah. and surviving. This is a really dangerous art that you've just created, you know? But I think that ultimately, you know, life... Do life you see is, on the inside, uh -huh. like that inside edge? That looks very painful looking. Uh, ah! Oh my god. <laughs> that is an awful thing to do to someone. <laughs> You're supposed to do first aid on me. How? Oh, there's nothing I can do. This life is short. How do I do first aid? For a second. <laughs> wow, I used to think that this was gonna be lighthearted, but it's really not. It's just 
a bloody mess. This is awful. <laughs> no, it's not. It's great. I'd like to give you one of these as a consolation prize. Thank you. I'd like the one with the flower in it, please. It's the same thing. I'd like the one with the flower in it, please. <laughs> okay, you can have this one. See how much more beautiful it is? Oh, you need the bottom. Presentation is everything. Thanks for watching. It's been another wonderful episode of DIY Damn It. See you next time. Cheers! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see me make a dino planter with Grace Helbig, click here. Or if you want to see me try to make a pillow out of a Boy Scout shirt, click here. I can't make any promises. See you guys later.